Hey, good morning to you again. Let me say it. Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Not the devil, not the world, not the government. Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works. Back out here at the airport, completing my work. Been talking to you about fighting the good fight of faith. Now, the good fight of faith is the one that we always win. We're guaranteed to win as long as we stay in faith. I told you yesterday that the battleground is the mind. If the devil can keep you in the thought realm and keep you thinking about how hard it is and how miserable it is to, you know, serve God and all of that stuff, then he'll defeat you most of the time. But if you'll keep the devil in the faith realm, in the word realm, and say, this is what the word says, then you'll defeat him all of the time. Now, watch this. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. I like to put it this way. The devil's shooting at me and you with a pea shooter, and you and I are shooting at him with an atomic bomb. You know, we're in a situation right now where North Korea is rattling its uh, saber and threatening us. Hey, uh, you don't do that to a country with the firepower that we got and with the president that we have now. Well, the devil shouldn't be bothering you because the president that you have, whose name is Jesus, has already made a show of him openly one time, and he's going to do it again. And so you have been delivered from out of his kingdom, out of his power, and translated into the kingdom of his dear son. And you have these mighty weapons, the word of God, the sword of the spirit, praying in the Holy Ghost. The Bible says over in Jude, building up yourself, building up your faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. If you don't know how to pray, you just pray in the Holy Ghost. You've got the confession of your lips, which will move mountains, change anything. Uh, you've got the power of agreement. Me and my wife can change anything. We've prayed together, agreed together. We've watched God change our children. We've watched God change our grandchildren. We've had God change our bodies when our bodies had problems, the two of us. Like it says over in Matthew, if any two of you agree, as touching anything that they shall ask, then they'll have what they will. We've got the keys to the kingdom. I'm talking about the weapons of your warfare. Jesus said this. I love it. He said, whatever you bind on the earth is bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on the earth is loosed in heaven. I want to put it another way. Whatever you will allow on the earth is allowed on the earth. Heaven backs it up. Whatever you will not allow on the earth, heaven backs it up. And that's not going to be allowed. I do not allow sickness in my house. I do not allow rebellion on my children or grandchildren. I do not allow poverty. Hey, you've been promised the victory. Now, thanks be unto God that always causes you to victory. Keep the devil in the faith realm. Fight the good fight of faith. Release your supernatural weapons and win all the time. Hey, I got to go. Got to finish my job here today. So until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember all day, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.